so now we are going to go to the color tab so in the color tab you can still see we have the white balance because the white balance affect both the color and the exposure so you are going to see it you can see the changes we made to the white balance are still the changes that are right here so that's it and you can see the basic characteristic the icc profile this image was shot with canon eos 5d mark 4 and you can change it to generic don't leave this at default just leave it at default the curve is on auto you can change the curve to film extra shadow film high contrast most times leave it at default the engine's capture 120 20 20 21 so that is the basic characteristic of this image now we have already covered the white balance now we'll go on to the color editor for the color editor we have the basic section in the color editor you can see we have the red color the orange color the yellow the green the cyan the blue the magenta and we have the pink color and also we have the hue color here where we can adjust the overall hue the saturation and the lightness so for the reds you can use this to change the particular hue of your red if your red is having too much magenta in it you can adjust it and add some orange to your red like this and if it's too saturated if the red is too saturated you can reduce the saturation if it's under saturated you can increase the saturation let's increase the saturation the brightness you can increase the brightness of only the red colors and you can reduce the brightness let's increase it a little bit so the color editor basically allows you to adjust the hue saturation and lightness of individual colors in your images so we can do the same thing for the orange you can make your orange to look more reddish the skin tone is in the red and orange section so if you want to target and make adjustment to your skin tone this is the area you are going to move the sliders the hue of the orange affects the skin tone so you can add more magenta or you can add more yellow which is going to make your skin tone to look greenish so let's add a little bit of magenta like this you can increase the saturation or reduce it let's increase the saturation and you can also increase or reduce the brightness let's reduce the brightness a little bit the yellow if there's too much yellow in your image you can remove the yellow or you can add yellow let's remove the yellow and you can increase the brightness or reduce the brightness we are going to leave the brightness at zero now there's green on your image you can adjust the hue adjust the hue you can also adjust the cyan you see this is cyan there's cyan here and there's cyan in the green you can make the cyan to look more greenish or you can make it to look more bluish so this is the color range of the cyan you can make individual stylized adjustment to it the adjustment you make to your color are going to be a creative process most time there's no right or wrong color so you just have to understand color theory and put that in mind when you make adjustment to this particular section so for this i'm going to add more blue to the cyan and if there's blue in your image you can also make adjustment to the blue there are blue here you need to make it more cyan and i'm going to reduce the saturation so that the black a tie here is going to look as black as possible i'm going to reduce also the brightness if there's magenta in this image i don't want magenta so i'm going to desaturate it like this there's purple i'm going to desaturate it because i don't want purple in my image if you want purple you want to add purple you can add purple the more present the color is in the original image the more the effect of this adjustment is going to be applied on that image so that's it and you can also see this is the hue you can basically adjust the overall hue just like the overall hue of the image 
so for this we are going to leave it at zero because i don't want to adjust it just like this now this is the basic color editor i have the advanced color editor you can take this hand picker and select a particular range you can also adjust this range like this you understand and then you can affect the hue of this range affect the saturation and affect the lightness so this is a very advanced way of adjusting uh, colors in your image this is very very handy when you are color grading your image but it's not necessary for this particular section so we are going to reset we are going to reset this adjustment we have the skin tone so basically what this does we can color grade our skin tone right here in the color editor so if you take the hand picker tool and select the skin tone it's going to select the skin tone range and we can affect the hue we can affect the saturation affect the lightness of the skin tone range we can also increase the range like this because we, we can affect the amount we can affect the uniformity so if you want to make your skin tone to be in one color like you want to achieve a monotone you increase the hue amount of the uniformity of the hue like this you can also increase the saturation you can increase the lightness the uniformity of the lightness so you can see if you increase the uniformity of the lightness it's going to flatten the lightness of the image and make most part of the skin to have the same distribution of light if you increase the uniformity of the saturation is going to make every portion of the image skin tone range to have the same level of saturation reduce this to zero to make our image look natural and then we reduce this to i think 50 or there are about 50. all this option we are exploring right now is not available on any other raw processing software this is what makes capture one very 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 powerful so that's it. profile then for the quality you are going to change it to by cubic sharper for a sharper image you can see how sharp our image is right now very sharp then you are going to click on save find a folder where you want to save and your image has been saved to that area so this is the end of the retouching course if you have any inquiry you can reach out to me on instagram if you have my whatsapp you can contact me on whatsapp also for those of you that are very busy we offer retouching services that is you can send us your image and then we edit them for you high-end retouching at a very affordable rate so even after learning this if you want us you can edit your images for you just reach out to me on instagram if there are other stuff you need you can reach out to me on instagram if you have any question you can ask me on instagram see you in another one